everybody, today we are talking on Taylor Hawkins' LA Tribute Concert, where a singer community paying honor to late drummer, who was died few months ago with a sudden death. Let's watch further details in this video, hit like and share with your friends. Foo Fighters fans flocked to the Kia Forum on Tuesday night for the Los Angeles edition of the Taylor Hawkins Tribute Concerts, the first of which took place in London earlier this month. Photos of the late drummer, who died suddenly in March at the age of 50 while Foo Fighters were on tour, adorned the walls of the arena, and his signature Hawk logo was omnipresent as thousands of admirers came to pay their respects, many of them already sporting the limited edition merch made for the event. It's a revolving door of rock heroes tonight, Foo Fighters leader Dave Grohl said during one of the many times he addressed the crowd during the six-hour concert, and he couldn't have been more accurate. The impressive lineup was practically a lesson in rock and roll history, including the likes of Joan Jett, Travis Barker, Josh Um, Wolfgang Van Halen, Alanis Morissette, Pink, Miley Cyrus, Stuart Copeland and Chad Smith as well as members of Queen, Motley Crue, Def Leppard, Soundgarden, Rush, Metallica and Black Sabbath. Now before details, please subscribe our channel so you'll be notified whenever we publish videos here on YouTube. There was also comedic relief in the form of Jack Black and Dave Chappelle. But perhaps the most special guest was Shane Hawkins, the 16-year-old son of Taylor, who joined Foo Fighters on drums at the end of the show for an emotional performance of My Hero, and, I'll Stick Around. Besides being a memorial for Hawkins, also served as a benefit for music support and music cares, from Dave Chappelle's cover of Creep, to Pink rocking out with Queen. The show opened on a somber note as Dave Grohl's 16-year-old daughter, Violet, took the stage to perform a haunting rendition of Jeff Buckley's version of Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. Accompanied only by multi-instrumentalist Alan Johannes on guitar, Violet's silky smooth voice floated through the crowd as concertgoers sang along, priming the audience for what would be an otherwise high-voltage night. The energy was soon kicked up a notch as Joan Jett enlisted Travis Barker and Foo Fighters for a blistering performance of The Runaways' Cherry Bomb, and her solo hit, Bad Reputation. Despite her badass nature, Jett was visibly emotional as she addressed the crowd. I was honored that he was a fan of mine, too, of my music, she said while wiping away tears. So I just want to say thank you for having me, thanks Taylor for being there with me. And we'll form our supergroup when I get there with you. Following a rousing set by Wolfgang Van Halen that included, Panama, and, Hot for Teacher, the glam metal trend continued with an appearance by Def Leppard. Before jumping into Rock of Ages, Joe Elliott shared with the crowd that Hawkins had once sold Phil Collin guitar strings at a music store in Laguna Hills. Cyrus then sauntered on stage, rocking a short black dress and big sunglasses, to sing, Photograph. Cyrus once again proved herself the queen of covers, as her deep, raspy voice added a modern twist on the song, often overpowering Elliott. 